I was suffering from this er error earlier, uh, which is an NFS 4.1 client um, failed. Well, that's it there, failed. Basically, this is your network driver. It's not finding it when you install VMware. And the main issue I have with mine, because I know some people have mentioned it's a issue relating to version 6 only works with um, 10, 100, 1000 network cards, but it's not as simple as that. My motherboard actually has a 1000. It just didn't work. Um, so be aware it can be a problem, but there is a way to fix it. The, I come across this article earlier, uh, Computer Tech Blog, which covered the same problem because it's a because the card I've got the built-on one to my motherboard is a real tech card, and it seems pointless to be buying another network card when it's clearly a software issue. Um, they they discussed it on here uh, that the fact when he upgraded it um, from well they put it on his i5 that it didn't actually work because the ESXi version 5 it was working but when you use version 6 it stopped working it was a very simple solution and all you have to do is get hold of the software which he's got here um, just follow this um, what you need to do is download this is the actual bundle relating to the driver for the network card and you just click it and download it let's go to my downloads download so we got that we've downloaded this one then download the customizer which is the one that will inject this bit of software into the install disk and then you just create a usable ISO from it and uh, so what you do is I'll go through the motions we downloaded it and we're looking for what's the name of software ESX customizer so it should be in here somewhere you have to unzip them because they're, they're zipped up double click on that and then you'll get this little window now as you can see what I've done is the first one is looking for the bundle so the bundled software oh that that's actually like looking for the main file that's VMware it's that one that's the main file you get off the VMware website so we want that one then the next one is the bundle which you'll find you need to unzip it and then give it the file it will go for TGZ but when I download it, it wasn't actually in TGZ format. Um, so we're now looking for offline. There we go. And there's the bundle. So if it doesn't show up, it's because of this. It, it will be looking for TGZ, and obviously it's not a TGZ, it's a zip. So we click on that. And what it will do, we'll just put this onto the desktop, it will create a new installed um, image. So when I click run, as you can see here, it's now creating a new ISO uh, with the injected bit of software for your network driver. And it should only take a few seconds. Oh, I don't need an update because we're. I know it already works. There we go. As you can see, it's away working it. Do you need to add the new. Yes. Creating a new customized one and all done. And then we go on to my, my desktop now. Oh. As you can see, I've been quite busy today. Uh, drop that down there. Oh, move that across. And the image is hiding on here somewhere. There, there's the image there. So it's created an image ready to install. And the idea of size is only 353 meg. All right, hope that helps because if you do come across that problem, don't lose hope. It's simply an issue with the network drivers. Once you install the right ones, away it will go. Thanks for watching.